the formidable robot. After what felt like an eternity, updates for a new series back in 2016 was released. That's so random. Remember Mortimer's Manor, the creep show like anthology series that talks about one specific story? There was a planned spin off series released on TBS and AMC called Tales from Mortimer's Manor. The description is as such Guess who's risen from the grave? It's Mortimer. This time, he's unlocking the skeleton key of Pandora's box, unlocking the darkest and the most mind bending stories. It's so long, it's a movie, it's so scary, it's such a shriek. The first episode was released on January 25, 2016 called, It's a Wary no In translation, it said, False Memory. It started with a brand new intro with a demented smiling Mortimer opening Pandora's box and the logo appearing with Mortimer laughing maniacally in the background. Then it started with Mortimer who had an upgraded look. Instead of the cartoony Tim Burton-like style, he looked actually human. This AI depiction of Mortimer should give a better idea of his updated look. His voice was the exact same gothic evil voice sounding like Paul Frey's from the Haunted Mansion, but he had this manic edge to him with each word, like each word sounding strict and forceful. The episode started with Mortimer holding a shotgun. He silently held a finger to his mouth, and then spoke. Greetings. It's been some time since visitors decided to pay a visit back to my manor. He slowly gets up. Someone broke into the manor, and is trying to steal Pandora's box. I'm on high defense at the moment. A good buddy of mine, from Japan recommended me a story. This is one called Itsuwari no Kiyoku. Or for English mortals, false memory. Enjoy the story for now. He suddenly peers around the corner. Before the screen snaps to black, you'd hear Mortimer scream in an angry tone. Back the fuck away from the box, you heathens! It shows a starry night in Tokyo, Japan. The camera slowly pans to a hotel of a college student. He was working on a paper when he received a phone call from his friend. Hey Ken, are you about ready to travel soon? Akira asked as Ken replied. Not right now Akira. I'm working on some unfinished papers. Akira sighs. Can you just take a break? It's been almost four months since you've had a break. Ken paused. Wait, I thought it was four minutes? Ken said, looking at his watch. 5.35 p.m. Akira sighs again. You and your schoolwork. Akira was heard saying before hanging up. After the call, Ken looked around. He noticed that there was accumulating dust collecting from the desk, the laptop and some noticeable hair loss from Ken's head. He sighs. Maybe some sushi can calm me down. I have been hungry. Ken thought as he tried ordering room service. Phone lines were dead. What the jigoku? This is bullshit. He screamed, slamming the phone back onto the stand. Ken sighed, looking at his laptop. He had to finish the papers. Ken sat back down, adjusted his glasses and kept on working on the papers. It shows a montage of the dust accumulating more. Cogwebs filling each corner of the room, Ken's condition worsening, losing more hair, gaining wrinkles, and even growing a five shadow. At the near end of what felt like six months, you'd see a shriveled up Ken, shakingly turn in the papers online. A cute electronic voice was heard, saying in Japanese. Thank you for turning in your work. Please wait while we got to hire your points to pass the class. This translates to, thank you for turning in your work. Please wait while we gather your points to pass the class. Ken was heard passing out on the side of the desk. His eyes clouded and his dry mouth opening up. The camera cuts immediately to black before Mortimer appears on the screen. He was seen on a cozy chair, holding Pandora's box and the body of the intruder noticeably in the corner. You know what they say, father time can be nasty even with people who constantly work on the one thing that's necessary. Mortimer sets the box on a stool before the camera slowly moves to the door. That's all for today. Till next time, we open another part of Pandora's box. Till then, stay creepy. <laughs> 
He cackled as the door slammed shut with a loud echoey. Before the next episode, I should bring up some small details. Tales from Mortimer's Manor is a spin-off series created by Bizarre Bear Studios and Anchor Massacre Pictures. If this story gets mentioned and if more people start rooting more onto Mortimer's Manor, there was something mentioned I forgot to put during the first Mortimer's Manor story. It was rumored that Overdose Studios was contracted to create video games based on Mortimer's Manor. Only three were made. Those will be talked about if this story gets talked about. Till then, who knows what's the next episode.